Hello, this is Eli. I'm from Sentinel Alpha Technical Support. In this session, I would like to show you how to activate an SL key. Uh, suppose that I have an end user with an SL key, which is a provisional one, and I would like to activate it. So the steps would be as following. Uh, I'm in the Business Studio, and I will create a new order. I'm in the Manage Orders, and then press on the new to create a new order. Now when creating an order the default is to uh, create an order which relates to the connected HL key which is not relevant here. Uh, the other option is to update a remote uh, a remote key, you know, the key which already exists uh, in the end user machine uh, which mainly re uh, talks about uh, either HL keys that I would like to have the or SL key which are already activated but uh, in order to just activate uh, the, the step to use is to produce a key based uh, product so this is what I'm going to choose now when creating a product key based uh, this is something that relates to which product I would like uh, to create it for so I will add some product. Uh, it doesn't matter right now which one. I'm just demonstra demonstrating. Uh, and then I produce. Generate file. I would like to, sh to show it. And as a matter of fact, this number, it is uh, the product key. Product T is just a number that represents uh, a, a product that I would like uh, to uh, use for the for the license. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to use it very shortly. So the next uh, the next uh, step would be to go and uh, use the customer services manage activations because I would like to activate the SL key. So here I put the, ven the product key that I have already done. I will see details. It is uh, optional. Now I have to take a C2V that I have already asked from my end user and put it here. I've already done it. This is the one. And then I have to locate where I would like to create the V2C for this customer and generate the file. The file has been generated and now suppose that I'm the end on the end user machine. Uh, already I have here uh, an SL key which is provisional and I'm an S as end user I'm having this uh, V2C. I can apply it using the ACC. Let's open the ACC. Local host 1947, and here I go to update attach. I take uh, the V2C that was created and then apply it. Your update was applied successful, successfully, and now I go to my key, and now this key has become from provisional key into um, a permanent key. Uh, which belongs to this machine. Thank you for watching.